he slid the needle in there with ease. That didn't sound good. That didn't sound right. But I was gonna. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Y'all, this is good. Hello, all my bells, and welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. Also, if you're new and you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family. Y'all, I got me some, um, some ribs. I wanted some ribs since yesterday. Yesterday was Memorial Day. And I got some fully loaded potatoes. I got these ribs from Lucille's. I've never been to Lucille's. Well, I've been there before, but I only had a um, po' boy sandwich. I never had any of the barbecue, so I'm gonna try it. I was told that it was good. So we're gonna see. And I got my mamba sauce over here on deck, just in case I don't like they barbecue sauce. Y'all probably like, why did this woman got watermelon? Oh, y'all can't even see it, but they gave me watermelon. That was a choice of the side. Watermelon. And I love watermelon. But I don't really like to buy it because it goes to waste here because nobody really eats it. I want it in the moment. I'm getting some little biscuits. I guess they're complimentary biscuits. Yeah, that I ain't gonna eat. I guess this is some type of honey butter. I've never been to Lucille's, you guys, ever. Well, like I said, I have been there. But when I went there, all I had was a po' boy sandwich. I think that's what I had. I know I didn't have a barbecue. I forgot that fully loaded mint onions. I'm not with onions. Scallions or whatever you want to call them. I don't like those. Mm -mm. Maybe they would cook them or something. But I'm not into those. I'm not going to eat too many of these potatoes. Although I want to like throw down on them because they bomb. They are really good. But um, we're going to cool it off a little bit. I should have had me some chicken, huh? Chicken and watermelon. They say all black folks like chicken and watermelon. Fried chicken and watermelon. But the watermelon was just looking good to me, so. I was like, I'm going to get me some watermelon. And it is good. Nice and sweet and crunchy. I remember as a little girl sitting out on the porch with a big old thing of watermelon, a big old slice with the peel and everything on it, just tearing it up on the porch. Now they cutting it up, dicing it, putting making it in the squares and That ain't how we ate it as a kid. Now you tell these kids, just get you a piece. You know, you go to a picnic, just get you a piece of watermelon. They looking like a piece. They not gonna cut it in chunks for me. They not gonna cut the green part off for me. No, get you a slice. And eat that thing. This is good. But for all these ribs, they gave me two of these sauces. Just two for all of this.
They asked me if I wanted original, spicy, or something else. I was like, just give me the original. I should have said, give me all of them. These ribs are good. I was told that they're better than Famous Dave's. I wouldn't say they're better than Famous Dave. I think I really just like Famous Dave's for their sauces. Like the sweet and sassy or the sweet and, I think it's called sweet and sassy. Sweet and somebody, I like that one. I love those little chips that they give you with the barbecue sauce. That Famous Dave's, I don't like Famous Dave's cornbread. And I'm not a big cornbread person, but Famous Dave's cornbread is really good. You can buy it in the store too. <coughs> and make it yourself. <coughs> Sometimes I wonder what's wrong with my um, pipes. Stuff be going down the wrong hole. Didn't make me choke. But these ribs are good. I'm gonna leave these potatoes alone, y'all. I'm gonna leave them alone. They real good, but I'm gonna leave them alone. I'm, I'm trying to stay off away from them carbs. Yes, potato is a vegetable, but it's not a good vegetable for you. Especially not with all that stuff on it. Bad enough, I'm eating pork. I have some carrot cake too. These ribs are cold. They good though. But they are cold. I watched, I woke up this morning and I watched well, I woke up wanting ribs. My friend and I were talking about some ribs for yesterday. And I was like, no, I'm not cooking. So I woke up like, ooh, I want some ribs. And then I watched um, um, I watched um, Limitless by Lenore do a firehouse sub. And it looks so good. And then I also watched um, Wanna Eats. Her and her mom was doing a firehouse sub. And I'm like, ooh, I want one of those. Then I watched somebody eat a big old fat. No, I didn't watch it on YouTube. It was on Food Network. A big old fat sloppy cheeseburger. It had so much cheese on it. They like put cheese in the inside of it. Put cheese on the outside of it. That thing was so good. I was like, I don't know what I want. If I want ribs, if I want the firehouse sub. And I've never been a firehouse sub, so I do want to try it. Um, or if I wanted a burger. But I wanted all of them, knowing I ain't going to eat all of that. But I wanted all of them. The burger was looking good. I mean, the man literally, he made it like, he made the meat really, really thin, though. He made the real meat really thin. Then he put cheese inside. Then he put another thin layer of the meat on top. Then he made it into a patty. And it was like a double burger. He put cheese on top of that, then put cheese on top of the other. It looked so good, y'all. I wanted that burger so bad. I was like, I may have to try to make that. It was looking so delicious. And not nutritious. But I'm like, I want to be all sloppy. Just sloppy cheeseburger. But that's something I would have to make at home. I don't think I can get that nowhere. Nowhere that I know about. I don't think I can. I wonder what is the purpose of the watermelon being a side. Does it like cut some of the fat from the 
pork or something. I don't know, but this watermelon is really good. I love watermelon if it's actually watermelon does not have to be sweet to me as long as it's crunchy. If it's crunchy, I can eat it. But if it's like soggy and mushy, if it's sweet, soggy and mushy, I can't eat it. I don't care how sweet it is. I have to have the crunch. And this one is crunchy. Somebody told me that seedless watermelons are generic, which I believe. Because as kids, like I said, when we used to eat the big old wedge of watermelon, we were sitting there spitting seeds out. At the same time, you ain't got to spit no seeds out of this stuff. So who made this? Some man put it out there. No seeds in it. Got a couple of white seeds in there, but you can eat those. When we used to swallow the watermelon seeds, we used to say we was going to roll watermelon inside of us. That watermelon is good. It's really, really good. Now, this is just for decoration. They gave that to me in my little plate. These little biscuits taste good, but they dry. But I'm assuming that maybe they need to be warmed and then you put this butter. I don't know what this butter is, but I think I saw what it said on the menu, cinnamon. It's kind of sweet, but it's not like sweet, sweet. I don't know what kind of butter it is, but maybe it's got honey in it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm seeing everybody trying this. Uh, Cheetos mac and cheese. I saw that Cheetos mac and cheese in the store too. It was just sitting by itself. I'm not really a big macaroni and cheese person, but I'm, I think I'm gonna try it. Everybody says that the um, jalapeno one is good, the cheesy jalapeno. But that box macaroni and cheese is not good at all, period. Especially if it's powder. You gotta put the powder stuff in it. Yeah, I'm really trying to like save for this because I really need to order me some more. I just have it. Amazon probably knows my address by heart. So, <coughs> as soon as I put my name in, they probably was like, oh, that's Michelle. She's ordering stuff. I need to stay off of Amazon. I had a friend who asked me, it was like, you just like ordering stuff, huh? Yeah. I'd rather order it than go out there and get it myself. I don't want to go to the store. I don't like to go. If I don't have to. I was in the store. So you know how you have to have six feet distancing or whatever. So this lady comes. No, not the store. I was in the post office. This lady comes in. And there's a whole bunch of people standing behind me. So she just comes in. And I'm kind of not... At the, I'm not at the door. I'm not trying to stand in the way of the door. So I'm standing behind the door. She just comes in and she just stands there. And I'm looking like, do she think she and I? So I didn't say nothing. I just sat there for a little while. So then she, she, the line started moving. She started, oh no, home, home girl. The line is back there, back there. So she was like, I just want some stamps. Is anybody selling stamps? No, they sell them at the grocery store though. Go buy you some. You ain't got to stand in this line, but you ain't getting in front of me. 
because you need some stamps. I just came to pick up something. They, do you got that for me to get? Because I had a package there and they said the package was too big to fit in the box. And it wasn't because they had me go to a locker to get another box that I had. And I'm like, well, why couldn't they just put that bag in the box? <laughs> in the in the locker. I don't know why they couldn't, but I had to stand in line and wait to go up there to talk to a person to get what I was going there for. Y'all them potatoes sitting over there and they just saying, shell, 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 shell. Y'all, I love potatoes. Well, I don't want to say I love potatoes. I like potatoes. And they're very good. Them, them things. They put some thickness on you. But I have some dessert over here that I want to try. It's some carrot cake. I think I'm going to eat this last piece of watermelon. Those ribs, I'm going to put them up. This watermelon is so good and it's not cold. I don't like cold fruit, you guys. And y'all say, well, how do you cut watermelon and eat it? Because when I do cut my watermelon and I want to eat some, I'll take it out of the refrigerator and let it sit so that it can get room temperature. The part that I want to eat because I don't like it cold. I don't like any cold fruit. No nectarines, no, I don't even like peaches. Not like peaches. I like peaches out of the can, like with the syrup in it. I like those type of peaches, but like a peach to just bite. I don't like that furry stuff, that fuzzy stuff. That ain't for me. But um, I don't like uh, any fruit. I don't like it cold. I don't know why. I just don't. Even when I eat ice cream, I let the ice cream sit out. I don't let it turn to milk. I just need, I want it soft. I don't want it hard. Uh, somebody else on YouTube told me they do that too. I think it was Tommy Bites. I don't like the ice cream straight out of the freezer. I have to let it sit there for a little while. Do a little melty. I'm just weird. I don't know. Y'all, I'm ready to take my purple hair off. But everywhere I go, I get so many compliments on it. I'm like, I'm going to keep this thing right here. I might have to give me a curly one. Literally, everywhere I go, they be like, oh, that hair color is so pretty. That hair color is so pretty. And I tell everybody, I tell them all, my niece told me I was too old for purple hair. And they be like, no. Nah. Tell your niece that she needs to be quiet because that looks good on you. I'm like, thank you so much. I appreciate it. But you guys, I have a um, video that I'm going to be doing probably tomorrow. Am I? Probably tomorrow. It may come out tomorrow. My cousin sent me a picture or something. And she was like, can you do this? And I'm like, um, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can. But it's something weird. It's going to be a weird food. And she was like, I'm going to cash app you. I want to see you record it, record you making it, and record you eating it. So I'm going to do that video tomorrow. I was going to go to the store today, but I was trying to get home and get my food because I was hungry. I had been outside. I had to go get some um, blood work done, which every time I go get blood work, I get a bruise. I don't know why, but I do. And it's not that they don't know what they're doing because he slid the needle in there with ease. That didn't sound good. That didn't sound right. But I was going to read some comments, y'all, but the video has gotten too long, so I'm not. I'm going to try my carrot cake. It looks so pretty. I'm just going to try it because I'm not about to eat it. Do y'all just wake up sometimes with a sweet tooth? Sometimes I do. I'm not a really big sweet eater. I like sweets. Don't get me wrong. I like sweets. They make sure you don't get up in this thing, you know, huh? I do like sweets, but I'm not like a super duper like sweet eater like that. Like, I like it when I want it. And this looks good. But I heard that they put pineapples in it. I like pineapples, but not in carrot cake. Me and my cousin tried to make carrot cake one time. 
It ain't come out right. Cause you're supposed to like drain the carrots or something. We we didn't do that. We uh we just put the carrots in there so it made the cake too moist. So it was it it didn't come out right, y'all. It was horrible. A good carrot cake is moist. This one seems very moist. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Y'all, this is good. Little seals. Hmm. This is really good. You know who has good carrot cake? Trader Joe's. But the only thing I don't like about Trader Joe's is they put big pieces of ginger in it. But it's good. It's like some little muffins. I think I told y'all this before. Y'all, this, mm. this is skin in a box. Mm, 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 mm. I could have went for a lot more nuts. I love nuts, you guys. Pecans, only nuts I really don't care for is peanuts. I can eat peanuts if it's in like a Snickers, I can eat them. Like I can eat a payday, I love paydays, but I eat all the nuts off first. And then I eat the nougat because I'm just weird like that. I don't know why I, I just am. But I like nuts, all the nuts, pistachio. Except for no, I don't like hazelnuts. And I don't like those. Um, I think it's just hazelnuts. But I love walnuts. I love pecans. I love um, cashews, almonds. No hazelnuts. Um no chestnuts. Hazelnuts and chestnuts are the same thing, is it? Is it or no? Well, if they ain't, I don't like neither one of them. But I'm liking this cake and I'm about to put it down because I'm gonna gain 10 pounds. But that cake is bomb. That cake is bomb. These ribs are bomb. The mashed potatoes, fully loaded mashed potatoes with banging. These little biscuits are good, but I think they'll be better if they had if they were warm. They probably are supposed to be warm. I don't know. I've never had them. I went to Lucille's probably. It had to be like six or seven years ago. Probably longer than that. I know my kids were young. And we went there after church. And I didn't know what to get. So I just ordered a po' boy sandwich. I was like, I'm going to go safe. And I got a shrimp po' boy. I think it was a shrimp po' boy. I think. Because I remember we sat outside. They had outside seating. I remember all of that. But I don't remember really what I had from there. But I believe that it was a sandwich. I know I didn't have barbecue. I do know that. I didn't have barbecue. I got a sandwich or something. I don't know. But these ribs were good. But they are not better than Famous Days. Whoever lied and said that was a lie. Actually, a co-worker told me that. They were, um, they was like, oh no, Famous Days is better than, um, I mean, Lucille's is better than Famous Days. No, they're not. They're, that's a lie. That's a lie from Satan and his wife and his uncle, his father-in-law, his brother-in-law. That is not the truth. Let me just buy B. Lenore's eating fish and grits. Fish and grits. Fish and grits. I, grits just, to me, go with only sausage and eggs. Not no shrimp. Not no fish. Not no, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I would ever try it either. I'm not going to say. I won't say that it's, I can't say, I can't say that it's gross because I've never tried it. But I don't think that's something I would ever try. Fish and grits. Shrimp and grits. People be tearing that stuff up like it's the bomb. But I don't think it's for me. I don't know. Y'all, I'm satisfied. I'm not like super duper full, but I'm satisfied. I need to start back. You know what I say? I need to start back away from the table. Like I'll be just sitting here eating a whole bunch of stuff. I don't, but I really want to eat the potatoes, but I'm not. I'm going to leave them potatoes alone. I'll eat them tomorrow. Actually, I will eat those potatoes for the next three days because it's a lot. It's probably equivalent to one baked potato. If I just ate this by itself, it'd be good, but to eat it with something else. But these potatoes was good and they use real bacon. They use bacon bits. I got sour cream on the yard. They look so good. 
Now, I'm not going to eat those things. I'm leaving things right there. I'm leaving things be. These biscuits, probably going trash. Nobody's going to eat these biscuits. They were free. I didn't pay for them. Well, actually, I did pay for them. Oh, they put sugar on it. There's sugar on these biscuits. Y'all, do y'all ever get text messages from like random numbers and it, they text you and they text like 10 other people too that you don't know? I have to go through my phone and go block caller, block caller, block caller, block caller. Because I'm like, who are these people that's texting me? I don't even know you. And they'll say something like, I know one thing sent me something to meet sexy girls. I don't want to meet a sexy girl. I don't. In your area or something. And I'm like, how do they get your phone number to just call and text you and tell you certain little things? Or, and then they also talk about get a $10,000 loan for such and such. And then I also get the, the things that say, uh, my videos get long. I also get the things that the emails that say that you haven't inherited so much money. Um, click on the, the thing so that you can collect. Mm -mm. If I inher inherited, you send it to me. Send it to me in a check since you know you know me. So just send me a check in the mail. I cash it. But I'm not giving you my account information. That's what I'm not gonna do. You know, I'm not that stupid. I look stupid, but I ain't as stupid as I look. I had to tell somebody that one time that they thought I was just stupid. I look dumb. I, I may look dumb. I may look a little dumb. But I'm not as dumb as I look. You feel me? Y'all, I'm about to go. Y'all go on over there to the seals and get y'all some carrot cake. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. It's so moist and just that. And that is real cream cheese icing. It's real cream cheese. You know, some of these people be saying they do cream cheese and it be a lie. it would be some stuff they found out of a box. Y'all, I'm about to go. I didn't talk to y'all to death. Don't go for the robo calls. The robo tech. Now they got robo text. They ain't even robo calls anymore. Robo text. Y'all get calls from all over the places. I don't even be knowing. I'm like, I don't know nobody in Louisiana. I don't know nobody in. Somebody called me from New York. I don't know nobody in New York. But honey mama, she ain't got my phone number to call me. So I know that she ain't gonna call me. Well, I know honey mama and I know um um Diamond Diva, they both live in New York, but they ain't got my phone number to call me. And then I get, y'all, I'm about to go. I get calls from all type of places and I be wondering, why are you calling me? Because we don't know each other. If your name is not embedded in my phone, I don't know you. Y'all, I'm about to go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everybody and everybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Oh. Don't forget to wash your hands.